Uh, my collection is women's wear with a little bit of streetwear, avant-garde, and athletic fabrics and technical, more utilitarian fabrics. The inspiration for the collection was black hair and like black hairstyles, um, mostly for black women, specifically natural hair. So you have braiding, you have bantu knots, you have crochet weaves, um, braid ins, different hairstyles that have a lot of volume and using those bases for creating the silhouette. One of the, the things that led me to fashion was realizing that I didn't feel served by the kind of gendered masculine clothing that I saw in stores. So my collection is gender agnostic. It is a number of pieces that can be worn by any person, no matter what body type, gender expression, or anything. Clothing should not be gendered. Anybody should be able to wear anything, and I want to give people the freedom to kind of play around with what they expect out of their clothing. Stuff.
I was little, I used to put on fashion shows for my parents. And then in high school, I decided to take classes in it and then decided to go to FITM. And then I also thought that I always wanted to do a debut and now we're here. So I really wanted to challenge different weights and textures. So I did Sherpa with organza. All of the organza is hand painted because it's a way that I like to relieve stress. And the collection was all made to be relaxing and stress relieving. And so I use neutral uh, color palette. I think it's gonna be just exciting, rewarding, like relieving just to see it all done and put together. Your voice, your face, do, 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 good times, new days. Mm -hmm. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. I'm from San Mateo, California. Entered FITM and then debut happened and I managed to weasel my way into it. And now here I am. I took my inspiration. So the whole inspiration came from World War II and different parts of the war. My target market is the demographic from, I'd say young adults to about 45. It's those who like to go outdoors, those who also like to stay fashionable and durability and functionality is a huge factor in my collection. I hope you guys enjoy my stuff. Just me and my, just me and my team, team. Just me and my 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 team. Just me and my, just me and my team. 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 Just me and my team Ooh, yeah. I know they be tryna watch the moves Couldn't run a mile in the 
shoes I ain't got no trying to prove When some I got loose I'm an animal but too much for a zoo I'm the one that's usually breaking the rules And to make everything work I got the tools Living on my own, just me and my Just me and my team 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 Just me and my Just me and my team Just me and my team Just me and my team, 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 just me and my team. You can never come between. All I got is family, and you know they got me. Whole lot of loyalty. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? When it's going to get tough, you can count on me. Trust and believe. Can't nobody else compete with me and my team. Just me and my team. Just me and my team, just me and my team, just me and my team, just me and my, just me and my team, 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 just me and my team. to do something creative. I also love like big extravagant moments and I wanted to create stuff for that. My collection is a wacky, crazy, colorful pattern show. I kind of want it to be like if a drag show and a runway show met in a harmonious center where it wasn't too campy, but it like wasn't too boring. I try not to let my nerves overpower the moment, so I like try to keep as much of a level head as I can, but it's been a lot of work, so it's exciting to see it all come to.
the main theme was flower. I wanted to preserve the beauty of the flowers, so I drawed various flowers and I did a lot of hand stitch. I did a lot of flower applique and fabric manipulations by silks and tulle. The some of them are like sportswear and the like the final two garments are like evening wear. Yeah, I'm so excited. Originally, I'm from the Philippines. I was born in the slums where the food is scarce and the clothes we wore were like hand-me-downs from the neighbors or relatives. During those times, I just focused myself on fairy tales just to escape reality. And it nurtured this dream of mine that one day I would be able to have my own happy ending. So I created my collection just to show like even broken things, when you sew them together, can make something beautiful.
thousand Cameroonian African American guy. I went through a lot to be here. This collection is personal to me. Uh, it's about my life and even the future. The plates represent my inside because of all the pain. The fragility of the organza as me being very fragile. The luxury brocade represents the future as shining, as strong as I see my future will be. So this is how much this collection means to me. I sit back and I play my role. I know you fiend for the life and you hate my soul.
Thank you.